So you just made the latest and greatest widget and you put it up on eBay and Etsy and Amazon. You sold one. Cool. You're going to ship it to them. That's good. Go on Etsy, eBay, Amazon. You can print your label right from Amazon and if it happens to be eBay, you just tape it on the box. If it's Etsy, you can either print a label on your printer then tape it on the box or if you happen to have a label printer you can print the label there. That's great. Then it catches on. Now you got the greatest widget since the invention of perforated toilet paper. Think about that a minute. So now you've got several hundred of these to do. Are you going to sit there and print each one individually and then tape them labels on that box? No you're not. You need a label printer. And what we have here in our shop and with our e-commerce business with our greenhouses and everything in the peak of the season which for our peak season is March, April, May and June we will literally ship hundreds of packages a week and for that reason we need label printers and we have four shipping stations that we use just for printing labels and getting boxes and getting them out the door to uh, the Postal Service and UPS and yes, that's the two services we use. Yes, I know there's other ones and everybody's got their preference, but that's what we use. That's where we get the best rates. So what printers do we use? Well, my other four that we have in service right now are Eltron, Zebra, 28, something thermal label printers. What I have here is an ID print. It says right here, label printer for eBay, Amazon, Etsy, new. I have never tried this brand before. We torture these Zebra printers. It's dusty, it's dirty, especially when we're shipping uh, nursery stock and plants. It gets extremely dirty. Of course, you got all the dust and everything in there from the shop and all the things we make in here, and that just gets absolutely everywhere. So I want to see how well this holds up, because we not only print shipping labels, but we print labels for the cartons like this here. These are on every carton that go out that have plants in them that are supposed to be kept upright. Whether or not the shipper actually does or not is a different story. And we have other larger ones we do too. We also print a label for every state in the 50 United States plus Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands that shows our USDA and APHIS license and the state of Illinois license and our permit to be able to ship to those places. Certain states, uh, California and Hawaii in particular, are very particular about where the stuff's coming from and whether or not it's been inspected and approved, and we are inspected and approved, and we are able to ship there, but this label has to be on every carton. Certain other states require a statement of contents. That's a whole other label, so we have one for that. We have uh, labels for many different things, and we print these literally by the hundreds. Now when labels come, they either come this way here, this is, you, if you, you are using UPS World Ship, they will provide the labels for you and that's where this particular roll here come from. There's 320 in a roll. If you buy labels, these are thermal labels here, there's 250 on this roll. This one has a small core. Sometimes they come with a bigger core. So I need a printer that will handle both core sizes. The Zebra printers do. This one does as well. I'm not taking this out of the box yet. I'm going to take this out, set it up. We're going to run 250 labels through it real quick and see how it performs. So what do you get in the box? Well, you get the printer. You get a power supply, a power cord, USB cable, some little roll of some sample labels, and instruction sheet for both Windows and Mac. Well, I'll be doing this on Windows. That's the uh, platform we operate on. And you get a driver CD. I don't know if this laptop has a CD drive or not. It does not, so I may have to uh, transfer this to a USB stick, but of kind of surprised this was on a CD because there's a lot of laptops and computers don't come with CD drives anymore. Anyway, I'm going to get this set up. It, uh, I doubt if Windows will recognize this. It may. I guess we'll find out. But I'll get this all plugged in and set up and we'll load some labels in it and we'll see what it does. Okay, to load labels in this, this is where the 
goes in the core of the labels. One side's marked for a one inch core, the other side's for an inch and a half core. And you're going to have to pay attention to that because when you pop this back in, you don't want it upside down. That's right there, be for a one inch core. You flip it over, be for an inch and a half core. That's going to make a big difference. So let me get a roll of labels here. And I'm not going to use a sample roll, I'm going to use one of ours because I'm going to be printing a whole bunch here. So again, you're going to want to pay attention which side's up. This is a one inch core, so that'll go through this way. That'll drop in like this. And I have labels stuck to my fingers, there we go. Through the paper guides. Those are adjustable. And we'll let that stick out the front just a little bit. Close that and I'll get the power hooked up to it. Yeah, I got power to it, I'm waiting for the computer to boot up. We'll see if it recognizes it or not. We'll switch in the back, turn the power on. Of course, I only have part of a label sticking out. We hit feed. They'll take it and it'll take to the first perforation mark. Now we just need to wait to see. Uh, it says ready. I'm ready too. Just got to wait for the computer to be ready. It's up. We'll see if this uh, finds a printer. If it doesn't, we'll go online with a computer and I'll get you on here and show you how to set this up. Let's hit add device here and see if it finds it. And the printer I want is not listed. I'll have to add it manually. Okay, we'll start out here for those that do not have CD drives on their computers, like this one here. If you put, go to Google and put IDPRT SP420 driver in, it'll, this here will come up. Official printer drivers, software downloads, and all that good stuff. So we'll go there. And we need to find the driver for, well, let's, hopefully we can narrow this down. SP420. And in my case, Windows. The ID PRT type, we want that one right there at the top. I didn't know you could get Bartender for, well, you don't know what that is, I do. We use that on one of our th other printers for printing labels for plants. We'll get that downloaded here. So that'll be a zip file, it'll have to be unzipped. So we'll show that in the folder. We'll right click on that to extract it. There's our application. Maybe it'll just run from there. So we'll double click that. See if that'll install it. Yeah, English should be a good choice for me. And the EULA. Everybody reads that, right? Install printer driver. Please connect your printer to PC and turn on. It is. And click install, of course. It says it's finished installing. Now we'll go back to printers. There it is. Except I do absolutely do not want that to be my default printer. Well, we can change that later. Go back here and I'll put my other printer back to where it should be. Okay, that was just that easy. Now, I need to print some labels. Get a file opened up here. Okay, I got a file up here ready to print. We're going to print. I'm just going to print one here first to make sure it comes out good. And it does. Yeah, one of the things I wanted to do was grab a core so I could re-roll these as they are printing. And I printed one, there's 250 labels on a roll. So now we'll print 249. And we'll see how fast they come off of there. It looks like they're coming off at a pretty good clip. I will say these are printing faster than a zebra does because I can't hardly keep up here. Sometimes we just let these gather up on the floor and then we roll them afterwards, but they can get tangled up. Okay, I'm impressed. I couldn't keep up. I still have a pile of labels on the floor here I have to roll. Generally, when I'm doing this on one of the zebra printers, I have I can just re-roll them at leisure, and I'm usually sitting in a lawn chair doing it. 
I do this kind of as a spare time thing or maybe at the end of the day to relax a little bit while I'm having an adult beverage. But that won't be happening with this printer because this printer prints fast. So it's going to be quite a time saver when you have to print a lot of labels at once. Obviously if you're just printing shipping labels you're not going to print them that fast. You'll never get the addresses in that quick. Even with the auto import software we use. So I get the rest of these rolled up here. Eventually. And it does take it right down to the end of the roll. As you can see right there. And these wrinkles you get on a small cord uh, roll of labels, you'll always get the last 10 labels or so will have this obnoxious wrinkle in them. And if you're using shipping labels with barcodes, it may screw up your barcode. Something to keep in mind if you're buying your own labels. Uh, I don't seem to have that problem with the labels from UPS. They're from a, uh, some other manufacturer and they don't have those wrinkles in them when you get to the end of the roll like these uh, more inexpensive ones here do. I do prefer the ones with the larger core though. Oh, there's a roll of labels. Yes, I did have to switch laptops. The laptop I had here had to have been the only one in the shop didn't have Microsoft Word on it. I needed that to be able to open this document up. But this doesn't have a CD drive on it either, so I had to go through the same process, put the driver on here. It's not difficult though, and that little step-by-step -step I showed you there will work on any type of computer, whether it's Windows or a Mac, if you don't have a CD drive to be able to read this uh, little mini CD they give you. So yeah, this is different from what I usually do here in the shop, but these label printers are something we use a lot of and they get a lot of use, especially in the spring. So I was looking for something a little bit more robust, I guess you could say. High speed, I didn't expect to be this fast, but that's great. So this is going to be replacing one of the aging Eltron Zebras over here. And as those get old, I think uh, these will be replacing those as well, provided they hold up and it looks like it will. It's made basically the same as a zebra is, so they're being a different color. Seems to work just fine. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate sure getting a thumbs up. It helps the channel. And if you're getting in there where you're going to have to do a lot of shipping, you really need to start thinking about getting one of these printers. These are also quite a bit less money than a zebra is, so that's another plus. And there'll be a link in the description on where you can get a hold of one of these. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.